Hello, Jess Too Good here in town, reviewing the Lego Paradise Sidewalk Cafe set. Happy Throwback Thursday. This has 43 pieces, too many figures, and was released back in 1994. This is an unopened box, and this actually retailed for only like $7.25 back when it was released in 94, and now it pours all those pieces. Here's the Paradise of Girl of the set. I believe this figure came in the Cabana Beach as well, but I might be wrong about that. She has a nice black ponytail, no back printing whatsoever because it is an older minifigure. And there's also the ice cream server who has a nice little scoop right there. A pretty cool torso, I really like how that came out. And uh, a little glass as an accessory. So here's the sidewalk cafe. Let's just get the bike out of the way. Very standard bike, red bike and everything like that, stud on the front. And you just put minifigures on there just like that. All right, that's not really that interesting, but the Sidewalk Cafe is freaking awesome. It has so much cool pieces in here. I love these pink pieces. Like for example, you get some pink cups, a pink umbrella top, um, some pink plates, but the best part is hidden right now. We'll get to that in a little bit though. There's this stamp right here, which is a sticker across multiple pieces, which is a practice Lego does not do anymore because it ends up damaging the pieces once you take the set apart. Love the use of these branches on the top, these little leaf pieces. This makes it look very casual and very modern in a way. I don't know how, but they really pulled that off great. But once we take a look at this little ice cream serving part, and this is my favorite part, the little ice cream serving part, because these two by two tiles are exclusive and they're freaking awesome. They have some nice pastel like colors on there and they only come in this set. They don't come in any other sets and they're great for ice cream pieces. That's very useful outside of this setting. There's also this little cup right here and I guess something that would probably uh, squirt juice or something like that to juice pourer. And that actually has the switch piece which in white, which is something I don't have much in that color. And that's it for Sidewalk Cafe. It's a really cool ice cream shop. That's really what I would call it. And we don't get much ice cream shops. Love those two by two printed tiles. Love the architecture of this. It's a very modern, casual design and love the pink and everything like that. You think I forgot about it. You think I forgot about it. You sick son of a gun. I did not forget about the promotional material. But that's it for this throwback Thursday, except for the promotional material. So the instructions don't have anything too interesting on it, but the promotional material, or the promotional little paper for this, has some really cool sets in it. Let's fold this out. I think, no, I don't think I have seen this one before. Maybe I have, I don't remember. Uh, but you can see... There's the Hot Rod Club, Surveillance Squad, Sail and Fly Marina, Century Skyway. That one was re-released um, in like, I don't even know, maybe 2004? I might be wrong though. And we have this nice little Lego Town display right here. Very cool in how that came out. Which set? Oh, that's part of the Sail and Fly Marina where the club is at. It's really cool. There's also Spirius on the bottom. Some Belleville and some Dragon Masters stuff, as well as Islanders Lego Pirate stuff. That's really cool. And you think I forgot about the ultimate bills on the box, didn't you? Didn't you? Don't lie. All right, I did not forget about that. <sighs> so this is it, the last segment. The alternate builds include a little kind of circus thing, it looks like, where she's balancing on the top of here with a, a little uh, bike and an umbrella. I don't know why that guy's holding a little the little antenna piece. That's kind of weird. There's also this part right here, which looks like just a casual kind of place where the girl has a guitar or a banjo or something. And there's also this alternate build right here. Oh, I love the creativity on the back of these boxes. But that is it. It's over. All right. That's it for the set review. Hope you guys enjoyed this throwback Thursday. And I'll see you guys later.